What's going on, everybody? Uh, I hope y'all are doing some cool RC things here lately. Uh, got uh, got the king back out. It's been a while. Um, I had kind of tore it down to get some other rigs ready for Axial Fest. Uh, I know that kind of maybe doesn't make sense right off the bat means that this is element but uh, it's mostly electronics wheels and tires stuff like that that kind of left the uh, ecto here sitting up on box for the last few weeks but we're done with only axial trucks for the foreseeable future and uh, it's time to get back to business so as soon as I got back from axial fest uh, I started putting the Ecto back together um, and figured since it had made the sacrifice uh, for the other trucks to run, uh, I went ahead and gave them a little upgrade. Uh, I'm not going to take the body off because uh, there's not much to look at, but I did pick up a Three Brothers uh, G13 Pro. Uh, steering servo over at Badlands. I was going to put it in the base camp, but I figured uh, since I stole the G14 out of this to put in the Gapra, I put the 13 Pro back in this instead. Um, and then the power system, the castle system that I had in here, um, I actually put that in the base camp and it seems to be working pretty well in there. So I just went ahead and put uh, the ESC 70 and the 21 turn Holmes motor in this. Um, and I went ahead and jumped the pinion up a couple teeth. I believe that this had an 18 tooth pinion from the factory and now it's got the uh, 20 20 or 21 I'm, I can't remember what I put in there so it's got a little bit more zip in it still got plenty of bottom end um, I think uh, yeah I, I did end up putting uh, the crawlers on uh, the base camp or the gap row one of the two they both ran swap wheels and tires all week over there at the badlands but i figured since this hasn't run the uh the tusks yet i'd go ahead and see how they did on here i know they did pretty well on the on the other two trucks but seeing as how this one had always been running the crawlers and you know doing king stuff uh i figured i'd see if uh if it could still do king stuff with the tusks so it's not really a whole lot new or exciting um, but we're gonna gonna stretch the ecto's legs since it's been a while um, we have been getting a bunch of rain around here lately um, not flooding kind of rain but it's uh it's pretty wet around here and on top of all the wet, it seems like since I was gone for a week, uh, the cows have kind of uh, reclaimed their territory. So I have got to really watch my step around here. <laughs> so this ought to be an interesting run, but We'll, uh, we'll see how she does. It's been a minute since I've run a straight axle rig, so it may take me a few to, to get my lines back up under my belt. We'll get her figured out. King is back.
Definitely got a lot of uh, body noise going on. This uh, Three Brothers Servo that I got in here now, uh, I don't know if it's just the way that I've got the end point set up or what. I mean, I pretty well zeroed everything out, but it seems like it, seems like it turns a little sharp. It's either, it's either it's turning sharper and getting into the body or I think that these hexes might be just a little bit wider uh, than the ones that I had on here before. So that might be why it's rubbing a little more now. But it definitely didn't rub that bad before. Man, I'll tell you what, it's gonna take, uh, take a little getting used to to remember how to drive a straight axle truck, that's for sure. Been driving nothing but portals for the last three weeks, I think. And this thing will still do everything that the portal rigs will do. It's got to take a little bit of a different line to get there. Definitely don't have the ground clearance that the other ones do, that's for sure. got some storms cooking up today so there's probably going to be a good bit of uh, wind noise going on here. Hopefully it don't pop and crack on the microphone too bad. Let's see if I can pull a hard line. It's been a while and the cows and the groundhogs and everything else have been up here digging around. Rain's been washing stuff out. And I don't have my crawlers on here. So, got a lot going against us right now. the knob. are not too high for this part of the climb today. But I'm even sliding down the hill. Good. battle just getting up to the oh up to the vertical section there we go just need some wheel speed okay this is where it's gonna get real interesting 
Let's see, before I even get started here, I'm going to go ahead and make a guess that uh, there's going to be a lot of mud slinging and probably a tumble all the way down the hill. Anybody want to take bets? Leave a comment below. What's going to happen here? I'm not thinking that a slow crawl is going to get it done today. Especially not with uh, these tires. I'm not even sure that the crawlers would get it done today. I think we're going to have to get a bump in just to get up this section here. Okay, that little trick ain't going to work. Passenger rear tire up. It is completely caked. I believe that we are hung on the axle on the back end. Oh. Okay. Wow. This is not a good spot to be in here. say even in the worst conditions this thing still surprises me well we're back where we started I'm gonna keep my back end over this way just a little bit I don't know if I got all that on camera, but nailed it. Oh, I 
definitely got more wheel speed than I used to have, that is for sure. Obstacle. <clears throat> Better fix the mirrors. Can't be looking all beat up. Let's go try another obstacle, see if that'll work. Now that the tires are completely caked in mud. the few people that actually watch these videos for more than a minute or two did any of y'all get to go to axial fest or are you planning on getting to uh, the great lakes gauntlet in september i believe that that will be the uh next event that I'm planning on getting to. Got the Great Lakes Gauntlet and then uh, Rocktober, which is back down at uh, Beat the Creek. I can't remember the date right off the top of my head. I think it's only one or two days. That one should be uh, should be a good time. I mean, obviously, it's at Beat the Creek, so that place is that place is awesome. Honestly, don't think that I've uh, had the ecto up here since I put uh, this obstacle in here. Not that it's much of an obstacle, but I think that just kind of shows how long it's been since uh, I've run this one. Maybe it has been up here since then. I can't remember. I've been so caught up in Axial Fest for the last month. I had plum forgot about the heavy equipment that we got right before Badlands. Definitely going to have to get back on that because uh, I was having a good time with that stuff. But I kind of had to put it off to the side get ready for axial fest and then on that note I had thought that I was prepared for axial fest but I was uh, quickly reminded that I was not uh, that's gonna be uh, 
a story that leads into uh, one, possibly two pretty good sized projects. Um, so uh, let me readjust my camera here. So basically what had happened, um, I believe that it was day two. Um, we were kind of getting me and my buddy we each have a bomber and we were planning on doing the uh the rock racing and uh the tough truck and whatnot so that was going to be day three we were planning on uh getting our trucks ready making sure they was all good to go uh, take them out on the trails and kind of give them another shakedown run on site. And uh, so we had the bombers out. It was evening time at that point, I believe. And I think uh, I may have made it 75 yards, maybe, down the trail. And I ended up breaking uh, one of my front links, which was not a big surprise to me. Uh, I honestly figured that the first thing that I was going to break was going to be one of those floppy steering links. So, um, I ended up carrying it the rest of the way until he, my buddy, uh, shredded the rear diff on his bomber, which his is built to the moon and back, um, so I was kind of surprised that he broke his, but yeah, so broken front link, didn't think much of it. I was like, Hey, you know, it's an axial truck. We're at axial fest. Surely one of the four vendors here will have links. Well, uh, I walked around, uh, can't remember exactly who all it was. I think the first place I went to was actually the uh, Horizon Tent, which they didn't have many parts at all, but they uh, they said they didn't have anything for it. I walked over to the next couple, and I actually got laughed at uh, for looking for bomber parts. Um, I'm not sure how, but apparently it uh, just blows people's minds that people still run bombers, even though they have a rock racing event, and there had to have been 30 or 40 bombers running around Axial Fest. Uh, Horizon was actually still selling bombers new in box at their uh, vendor tent. So that... That whole experience there of literally getting laughed at uh, for asking for bomber parts, uh, that that kind of got me a little on the salty side. Um, I mean, you can obviously get parts online, but the wait time on those was longer uh, than I had to wait for Axial Fest. Um, I had thought about getting uh, front links and steering links when I got the uh, upgraded rear links, but it was gonna take like a month for them to get here and I didn't have that long to wait. So I just left the stock ones on there, figured I could get new ones at Axial Fest. Regardless, um, it is what it is. But that kind of got me thinking over the last couple days there at Badlands. Um, I don't want to be in that situation again. So, you know, I, I like the bomber. I want to do something a little bit different. But I also don't want to put myself in the position of I can't get parts. So, um, wow, 
I didn't even realize that the cows had knocked this over again. Okay. Sorry. Losing my train of thought here. Cows ruining my day again. Anyways. Um, so, I want to have a rock racer, bouncer, kind of basher rig. But I want to be able to have uh, a wider access to replacement parts. So I got to looking around at what was available there at Axial Fest. And uh, there was only one real option that, uh, that I saw to go with um, and that I've had some experience with in the past. So I ended up getting a, ooh, I ended up getting a riff kit. How, how this is going to all play out is uh, still kind of up in the air. Um, this morning, just before I came out here, I finished building uh, the axles and all the links. So I think what's going to happen is the rift uh, axles and links are going to go on the bomber and then the bomber axles and links once i source some upgraded links they're going to go on something else uh, i'm gonna leave that one kind of in the dark for now um, i've got a pretty good idea of what i want to do there but I want to make sure that uh, I've got everything I need to do that before I start uh, presenting <laughs> that option, just in case something doesn't work out. But I've got, I believe, everything I need to finish the Bomber Rift mashup. Um, I, I had a lot of good fun with the rift that I had uh, but the way that it was uh, overpowered and I, I don't mean that like oh my god it's untamable or it wasn't fun it just the RTR rift out of the box has so much speed and so much power that I don't care who you are you're not gonna be scale driving it for very long i would go out with the intention on driving it easy and try to do some scale hill climbs and bouncing and within five minutes you're just treating it like a basher and you break it every time you take it out so i'm just going to use the the rift components Put on the bomber. I'm gonna keep the uh, bomber transmission, the uh, electronics, the cage, everything. Uh, that way, I can, if I break something, I can get parts easy. And then I'll have my rock racer, uh, bouncer, hill climb truck. Should be, should be interesting. It's nothing crazy, but uh, anybody who has watched enough of my videos knows that I just like mashing trucks together. And uh, being that the Rift and the Bomber are both Axial, uh, that's not gonna limit me next year on going to Axial Fest. That was the problem I had with the Gapra this year, was that I was using uh, element parts with the axial parts. So that was a bummer when I had to tear it back apart just so that I could take it to Axial Fest. That's fun. Oh yeah, nothing 
groundbreaking or crazy, but I'm I'm thinking that's going to be a fun project. I imagine I'll probably get started on it here after I get done running this thing around. Maybe pretty quick. I should have some content on the the new bomber set up here fairly soon. Like we're gonna have a few days of stormy weather this week and uh, I don't have any mud trucks per se so imagine that's just gonna be wrenching time I definitely think that the, the Ecto is gonna have to go back on crawlers the tusks are good tires but uh, at least for for what I've got going on here the terrain and the rigs that I've got uh, they're just not as good as the crawlers are and I know that I had the I had the Ecto set up as like my comp crawler for a while, but now that I've got the Gapra, which is a straight up crawler with all that overdrive, there is no trailing to that truck. Uh, I figured I'd put this one back to more of a, a, a light trail truck crawler situation. It's where it can do stuff like that. And I'll talk more about uh, what all went down at Axial Fest um, when I bring the Gaffra and the base camp back out for their next runs up here. Just wanted to get the Ecto out since it got some new parts and put back together and kind of talk about the, uh, the bomber situation. Uh, it was a real a real bummer that turned into uh, possibly something pretty sweet so can't hate on that but I think that'll probably do it here for uh, today I feel like I've been rambling long enough so hope you enjoyed a little update and new ecto set up we'll uh try to get this thing out uh, either do a creek run or maybe try to get down to the quarry this week and uh really stretch this thing's legs out and see what it's got see uh how long that brushed motor will uh, satisfy my trailing needs before i decide to go brushless again Hope y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. One way or another, we're going to have some pretty sweet stuff coming. And turtle for the end of the video. Perfect. <laughs> Catch you later.